So, we're here today in the shop looking at labels and not the uh, label on my fake top that I bought in the market in Beijing. We're here to talk about energy appliance labeling. And we I got are. Robert here who's going to help me out. What we're going to show you today is basically the difference between labels. We've the dryers, which are quite basic and that they just give you the energy rating. Obviously, the nearer to A, the more energy efficient the machine. In this case, this is a C. Yeah. But if you look at washing machines beside us here, this particular fella, it's an A-rated washing machine, which is as good as you get. You get no better. Its kilowatt consumption is 1.02 kilowatts per hour. The machine itself is an A-rated for wash performance. So A-rated, again, the best you can get. So 10 out of 10, how it does its job. Now, this particular fella is giving you spin performance. This is a B-rated machine. Mm -hmm. If we change this machine to, a say, a 1400 spin machine, it's um, going to increase this to an A. So then we get our three A's, which is what we all should be aiming for. Triple A. Triple A. And that's is. important for people to notice, right? That yeah. actually on a wash machine, it's not just that A. It's all the A's down below. All the A's, exactly. And a lot of appliances will give you a lot more information. So cookers, again, will give you more information as well. So the more information these give you, the better. But ultimately, we should try and get as many A's as we can get on any energy label. Brilliant. Tumble dryers, two different sorts of dryers. We have a B-rated Zanussi dryer, and we have a C-rated Zanussi dryer. The reason why we get the difference is because this is a sensor dryer, which okay. means as soon as the clothes are dry, it stops. With this little fella, you could set it to run for three hours and the clothes could be dry after an hour and you're just burning up two hours of electricity for no need. Yeah, huge waste. Exactly, complete waste. So that's why we should all, again, try and buy sensor dryers, but obviously get back up to A. Two other machines. Here we have a Bosch C-rated machine and a Bosch A-rated machine. This particular fella is one of the only A-rated machines out there at the moment. And it's a fella, yeah? It's a fella again, yeah. They're all fellas. Right. It's a, uh, 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 all washing machines and dryers are men, yeah? They're now men, yeah. This is an A-rated machine, this bloke here. Yeah. So, Good looking fella, that. He fella. is, lovely. German fella. <laughs> this, this, this particular fella then is using 3.6 units per cycle and this is using 1.9. So huge difference. Yeah, that's nearly half. Like, yeah. Savage difference. Like it's half the, half the difference. So in terms of what you're saving per year, it's about uh, 81 euros per year you're going to save on this machine. I mean, after a couple of years, you're on the pig's back. You're making money again. Brilliant. Thanks, so there you Brian. go. That's our oversight to energy levels.